hi welcome to this video an opportunity for me to share with you a process that I take many clients through in fact a process where I'm going to tell you a little bit of story and your mind is going to imagine alongside the story and your mind is going to create colors and pictures and uh, scenes and sounds and all sorts of things that uh, your incredibly creative mind is capable of doing. I'm really excited to be offering this little guided visualisation to you and um, after the visualisation I'm going to uh, head off to my little place of um, refuge where I can paint and I'd love you to join me and perhaps see what I create. So why am I doing these videos? Well, you know there's all this buzz around creativity and art journaling and painting from your intuition and being confident. And all those things seem like massive jobs to everybody, especially to a beginner. And I want you to come along board with me for just a little bit whilst I introduce you to your intuition and while I introduce you to your creativity because you can watch mine all day and that's fine but I'm really excited about uh, you meeting yours. I'm going to put up a series of meditations followed by my creative interpretation of them um, and you're welcome to, to uh, subscribe below and then you'll, you'll hear about when these pop up in your, in your little library feed. Um, and I would welcome you also to join my Facebook page and if you want to share any pictures that you draw or if you want to share any emotions that come up while you're listening to the meditation, please do. It would be great to hear from you. So let's talk a little bit about what you're going to need. I have a rule of thumb, which is that when I do a meditation, I like to emerge from my meditation and immediately go and play. And because I want to do that, I don't want to be getting everything ready and kind of disturbing my brain from where it was at to somewhere new. So I'm going to suggest to you that you pause this video in a minute and you head off and you create a little creative nest for yourself. Get some cushions on the floor, get a notepad on your lap, have some crayons nearby, all those sorts of things. Go and get that ready. You might want to sit at a table and paint. That's cool. Get your paints out, get some water ready, get the paintbrush there, get it all laid out and ready for you because you're going to want to emerge from this meditation and and zip off straight away and create something from it and that's part of starting to trust your intuition don't let there be this kind of um, uh, break between your imaginings that are going to happen as we do the meditation and your creativity which is where you go and step and play let your intuition have a have a nice, gentle, relaxing movement from both the meditation into the creativity without you having to tidy up in between. So pause now and go and get all your things ready. So I'm hoping that you've got all your little nest ready and um, we're going to begin. And I always tell people when I'm working with them, when you do meditations, for some people it'll happen really easy. You'll close your eyes and your mind will start to create pictures and you'll go on a little journey and it'll be great. And for other people, you sit there thinking, well, all I'm doing is thinking about my washing up. That's okay. Don't worry about it. Don't stress. If you don't suddenly have loads of images coming in your mind, please just let it go. If you're going to need to think about the washing up, think about the washing up. Your ears are still going to hear my story and you're still going to be able to stop and pause and go off and do some creativity in the end. And just use this as a practice. Maybe come back to it in three days time and have another go and see where you get to. But don't stress out. There is no right or wrong way to do a guided meditation. Absolutely not. And the last thing I want you to be critical about is having a break and listening to my voice. 
which I hope is going to be okay. So, I'm going to tell you a little story, a little, a little dreaming. And I want you to get yourself ready by laying down. Lay down on a bed, lay down on your sofa, lay down on the grass in your garden. Go and find somewhere where you can lay down and just let your body relax while you're going to listen to me speaking. If for some physical reason you can't lay down, please find yourself a really comfy seat. A seat full of plump cushions, maybe a blanket or two to throw over you. And really let your body have somewhere it can just rest. And let it be somewhere separate from where all your creative busyness is. Let that creative busyness be a place you can move to after we've finished travelling together. So if you're laying down or sitting comfortably, I'd really like you to give yourself the opportunity of gently closing your eyes and allowing your body to start to really feel itself gently easing into the sofa or the bed or the grass and let yourself start to notice your breathing as it travels in to your body and back out of your body. With your eyes closed, just begin to count for three. One, two, three, one, two, three. And with each count, start to control your breath. Breathing in for three and out for three. And your body, as it starts to slow down, will start to relax. And now I want to offer you a pause after each three place where your body just suspends without breathing in or out. A place where we can remember that it's okay to stop before we take something new in and it's also okay to stop before we let go. One, two, three, Pause. One, two, three. Pause. And now gently let those numbers fade into the background and just hear my voice and allow whatever happens whatever colours or images appear behind your eyelids, allow them to emerge and start to form. I want you to find yourself in a black, black space. It is the deepest pit of blackness, the darkest of nights. This deep black surrounds you. You do not feel anything. You cannot hear anything. There is no sight. This is the blackest of blacks. Something in the far off distance starts to shine a very, very faint purple. And you are intrigued as to what this purple is. And as you watch, 
the tiny purple dot in the far distance of this blackness. It grows and grows and shines a most brilliant white. This brilliant white light with its purple glow around it grows bigger and bigger. And as you start to concentrate on this bright light, you start to hear a pulsing sound, a rhythmic drum beat. Boom, boom, boom. With each beat, the light pulses. And as the light grows, you begin to notice dark shapes moving beneath you. Shapes which extend and reach towards you. And you notice that you too have movement. That you too can extend your limbs. And as you do, you notice you have ears and the sound that is made as you move your limbs through this black. And your eyes notice ripples of colour as your body impacts the space. You are moving now, moving faster and faster towards this brilliant white light with its purple glow surrounding it. And you notice all these other forms also travelling, moving faster and faster towards this brilliant white light. Travel on, feel the excitement and the exhilaration of moving through the air with all these colours swimming around you. Purples, blues, reds, pinks, the brightest of orange, shiny yellows, all travelling alongside you, moving towards this brilliant white light. And then your body begins to slow again and settle. Arms, legs, fingers, toes, necks, ears, eyes, all slowing down and coming to a still place, a brilliant clear blue pool, reflecting the white shining light brilliantly in its surface. And you, and all those who have gathered around this pool, move towards its edge. And as you reach the edge of this brilliant pool, and you lean forward and bear witness to the wonderful, creative sight that is you. Look how your hair waves. Look how your smile blooms. Look how your eyes see deep into the crystal waters. Notice how your chest rises and falls with each breath. And notice the colour of the breath as it extends from you and out across the pool, meeting with all the other colours. This is the pool of creativity. This is the place where we can all meet, whomever we are. And as you sit, by the edge of the pool, 
I want you to notice your breathing as it travels in for three and out for three. Notice the rise and fall of your breath. And before you return to the sofa you're lying on or the grass that you're resting on or the chair that you're sitting on, before you arrive back into the world that you know, I'd like you to think about this visualisation. Think about the colours, think about the movement. And in some way, when your eyes open, allow your body to travel to your creative nest and draw from that place of intuition from that deep place of knowing inside you. Create something that represents the journey that only you went on. Breathing in for three, out for three, and finding a way to gently open your eyes and return to the world that you know. Welcome back. I really hope that you enjoyed that visualisation. Step gently and kindly to your creative area and please draw, create, whatever you are called to do so.